Hello painting peeps and welcome. It's Kathleen from Cause Creations. Welcome to the No Bra Zone number two guys. I'm always happy to see you. This girl is getting her color on. This girl is getting her thick paint on. And this girl is having a lot of fun with it. Rick and I just got back from Florida. We drove 700 miles down there for a couple of days and 700 miles back or 600 miles, somewhere around there. And I'm wired. I've been sitting in a car with my little man on my lap and my man by my side, uh, Googling things and trying to pass the time. And I got home and Rick's exhausted and I'm wired. <laughs> <laughs> so I came down here to paint and you know what I would, I would have come down here even if I wasn't wired because I haven't painted in about four and a half five days so happy to be here happy to be getting my thick paints on happy to be getting my colors on and I came home to some nice surprises I had left with uh, three paintings that were still a little bit wet and covered them up and said goodbye to them and came back and I'm thrilled with the results and I'd love to share that with you. So hang on one second. This is my first color explosion that was inspired by Lee Massey of Massey Art Studio. It's totally dry and I don't think you can see the shimmer but there are just little gold sparkles going all through this darling and um, I called this one into the light let me let me turn her around because I see the uh, the shape of a woman walking into the light and it just tickles my insides guys and I cannot wait to put some really nice varnish on this baby and I promise I will share it with you when I do let me get my other surprise I love this pretty lady. There is so much movement and bubbly cells. There was a little satin enamel in uh, one of my paints. I love the purple and the aqua and the green. And this as well has a wonderful, wonderful gold shimmer going through it and some beautiful gold lines. So this really made me smile big guys once again it has not been varnish or resin and i will show it to you when i'm done oh. we are working today on a 16 by 20 canvas i slid it out of the way so that i can share my colors with you our base coat i didn't grab the bottle but this is just artist sloth soft body in the white it's mixed to a little bit of a thinner consistency, not much than the rest of my paints. Now, I started mixing my paints up just a little bit different. I usually do 50% Floetrol, 50% Liquitex pouring medium, or 50% Floetrol, and 50% Golden GAC 800, which I just recently got um, a new shipment of that in. It's been out of stock and I am happy about that. So what I do is I put probably about a tablespoon of GAC in the bottom of my cup. Then I add my paints to it. And then in a little squeeze bottle to the right of me, I have a squeeze bottle filled with Liquitex pouring medium. I have a squeeze bottle filled with strain Floetrol, and then I have a small cup filled with my mix pour. So I'm starting to mix each paint a little bit differently um, due to the consistency of that paint. For example, my tube paints are a little bit heavier bodied than my fluid paints. So if I'm using a tube paint, I'm going to go a little bit heavier on the Liquitex because Liquitex pouring medium is less dense and lighter than Floetrol. 
if I'm using a fluid paint, I'm going to go a little bit heavier on my Floetrol because it is heavier than Liquitex and I need to thicken this up a little bit. So what I do is I start squeezing into each one of my cups, either the Floetrol, heavy on that, or the Liquitex pouring medium, heavier on that. I hope I'm not confusing you guys. I promise that I will do a paint mixing video. There's, a one, there's one quite a ways back, but I'll do another one for you. And then if I'm doing a straight pour or a ring pour or any type of pour where my paints need to be thicker, that's when I add just a squeeze or two of my mixed pour because mixed pour is twice as heavy as Floetrol and three times as heavy as Liquitex Pouring Medium or GAC 800. So every one of these paints are mixed a little bit different. The thinner paints got more Floetrol, the thicker paints got more Liquitex. And I hope that makes sense, guys. Don't mean to make your head spin. This yummy paint right here, Easy Breezy and Simple Deco Art Satin Enamel, and that is the Pure White. This yummy color right here, let's take a look at that consistency. You can see that it's very creamy. It leaves a fat mound on a mound on a mound, as Sweet Darling Mina says. That right there is Liquitex Basics, and that is their Deep Violet. This yummy purple right here. Let's take a look at that. Look at those thick paints. Oh my gosh. I'm a little nervous, but so far everything I've done with the thicker paints has been so much fun for me. That is Liquitex Basics, and that is their Prism Violet. I also arrived home to a wonderful box right by my front door. Thank you, little piggies. I am very, very grateful. This is a yummy color. This reminds me, what was that paint that uh, they discontinu discontinued oh, about a year ago? Was it? I forget what it was called, but everybody wanted it. And I remember Gail Burston from Life and Splatters came up with a recipe to recreate it. But this paint reminds me of that. And I apologize, I can't remember. I'll, if I do, I'll go ahead and put it in the description box. This is this little piggy, and this is the tail feather. And this is yummy. Now, the little piggy paints, I've got one more. This guy right here, let's take a look at him. Look at that shimmery goodness, guys. That's absolutely beauteous. That right there is this little piggy, and that is their sea glass. Now, what I do with these, I start off with just a nice, healthy little scoop in the bottom of my cup, and then I dampen it up with the Josanya Gloss Varnish. I mix that up real good, and then I add my pouring medium. In this case, it was 50% Floetrol. 50% Liquitex pouring medium, and just a splash of GAC 800 in these two cups. And it made the perfect consistency, a fat little mound on a mound on a mound for our pour today. Let me get these out of the way. Right here and right here, two other very, very yummy colors. Look at this. This almost has a color shift to it. It's got kind of a purple, purpley hue when you look at it in different light. That right there is PBO Pebio Studio Acrylics, and that is their iridescent green blue. Lovely, lovely paint and becoming one of my new favorites. PBO Pebio Studio Acrylics, and that's their iridescent green yellow. So we are getting our colors on. We are getting our thick paint on, and I am very, very excited about it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a split cup pour, but I'm also going to do a layered cup straight pour with it. Just to fiddle, just to see the kind of movement that we get. Um, going on in our painting. So we should have some fun, guys. 
I'm going to go ahead, put some tunes on for me, put my earbuds on, get into the zone, and I'm going to put some tunes on for you guys. Glad you're here. Glad I'm here. Let's get busy.
Chasing snowflakes as they're falling down And follow Rudolph all across the town Played it with me under the mistletoe While Santa's busy saying ho, ho, ho We're feeling jolly eating Christmas cake And then 